All right, I'm going to tie a peaking caddis, and I've already started off with a size 12 hook here in the vise with a 332nd tungsten bead, and then I put a couple of wraps of uh, lead to give it some additional weight. The thread that I'm going to use is an 8 uh black, or I'm sorry, an 8 uh dark brown. I'm just going to get that started in behind the lead and wrap it up to the bead and then back down. I can clean off that excess thread. And then I'm going to come through and tie in uh, the peaking part. And what I like to use is a glow bug yarn. And so this is just a, a fluorescent green. And so I'm going to take out a section, keeping in mind that I'm going to double this over. And so I want to make sure that I've not taking too much or too little, and you'll start to get the feel of what that looks like the more of these you tie. So I'm going to t clean off just the end so I have a good tie-in section, and I'm going to tie that right on top of the lead, and that'll help give it uh, a little bit more body and taper. And I'll bring it down to just about the bend in the hook, and then uh, wrap it back up. And then I like to twist this oh, just a bit to give it a little bit more character coming out and you'll see kind of how that how that twists and then I can tie that off bring that back down to about the bend in the hook and I can come through and clean up the excess and I'll just secure everything there with a couple of turns alright now you can probably tell by my markered fingers I tied a couple of these in advance uh, and one thing that I like to do is uh, is give this give this tip a, a little color. I'm going to be burning it and, and that'll darken it um, some as well but I'm just going to add some more color with my Sharpie. So take whatever fire you have and I'm just going to start to work to get the shape that I'm, that I'm looking for. And so I'll, I'll burn not just the not just the uh, the tip, but also help with the shape of the rest of the rest of the body. So now that I have that, and the uh, portion around it is going to be tied in with soft tackle, and and this is what I use uh, if you've watched these for a lot of my wet flies. So I'm just going to clean off the bottom. And then I'll pull back everything away from the tip. And I can tie that in. Again, everything here is going to be tied under, so I'm not too worried about being ultra clean with it. So I'll hold up the stem. I'll wet my fingers, and I'm just going to start pulling these back on themselves. It gets a little bit tricky when you're working around the, the point of the hook. Normally you're tying... Uh, you know this material in towards the towards the front, so you just need to be mindful of the hook point itself, so it doesn't cut your cut the stem and break off your your hackle. So I'll take my turns and then I'll secure that down. You can just break off the stem. Now before I lock everything down some of those pieces just by nature of where it is are going to get stuck in the stuck in the hook so I want to make sure that they lie on either side alright so what's, once that's down then I'm going to come back through uh, with my rib and I'm just going to use a uh, medium copper wire for that so I'm just going to tie that right into the side. Down to my hackle. And I'm going to bring it back up to about the, the midway point or so. And from here then, I'm going to put some dubbing wax on my thread. Because I'm going to tie in some natural hairs ear dubbing. Uh, and so I'm just going to take clump of that right off the right off the mask and 
and just start to dub that. Get that noodle on the on the thread there, and I'll tighten it up. And I'll wrap this all the way to the top. Now I'll come back through and take my wraps of rib here, my copper wire. And you can reverse wrap this, but if you take steep enough angles, you'll be able to cover it pretty well and still have it still have it show. And then I'm just going to break off that excess. And then I'll come back through and put some whip finishes in here. Trim it off. And there it is. So that's my peaking caddis.